Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 510 Pressure Vessel Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 6. Interval Frequency and Extent of Inspection. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 6. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the Table of Contents. In the following slides, we highlight important information contained in Clause 5 accompanied by the sub-clauses. General to ensure vessel integrity. All pressure vessels and pressure relieving devices shall be inspected and tested at the intervals frequencies provided in this section. The appropriate inspection shall provide the information necessary to determine that all of the essential sections or components of the equipment are safe to operate until the next scheduled inspection. Inspection during installation and service changes Vessel installations Pressure vessels shall be inspected by an inspector at the time of installation. The purpose of this inspection is to verify the equipment is safe for operation that no unacceptable damage occurred during transportation to the installation site. Initiate plant inspection records for the equipment. Collect desired baseline information and to obtain the initial thickness readings at CMLs. The minimum installation inspection should include the following. O verify the nameplate information is correct. O verify equipment is installed correctly. For examples insulation is properly installed. The vessel is clean and dry. O verify pressure relieving devices satisfy design requirements and are properly installed. Internal field inspection of new vessels is not required. Provided appropriate documentation, for examples manufacturer's data reports, assures that the vessels comply with the specified design and specification requirements. Vessel service change if the service conditions of a vessel are changed, for examples process contents, maximum operating pressure, and the maximum and minimum operating temperature, the inspection intervals shall be established for the new service conditions. If both the ownership and the location of a vessel are changed, the vessel shall be internally and externally inspected before it is reused. The inspector should also assure that adequate documentation, process safety information for the vessel is on file. In some cases, for example, movement to a new location of ASME code. Section 8, Division 2 vessels. A reanalysis or review, revalidation of the user design specification may be required. RBI. RBI assessment may be used to establish the appropriate inspection intervals for 
internal, on stream, and external inspections, as well as inspection and testing intervals for pressure relieving devices. The RBI assessment may allow previously established inspection intervals to be exceeded from limits specified in 6.4 and 6.5 including 10-year inspection and one-half remaining life limits for internal and on-stream inspections, five-year inspection limit for the external inspections. When a RBI interval for the internal or on-stream inspection exceeds the 10-year limit, RBI assessment shall be reviewed and approved by the engineer, an inspector at intervals not to exceed 10 years, or more often if warranted by process, equipment, or consequence changes. External inspection It is preferred to perform visual external inspection while the vessel is in operation. The interval is established by the inspector or engineer in accordance with the owner user's QA system. Unless justified by an RBI assessment, each above-ground vessel shall be given a visual external inspection at an interval that does not exceed lesser of five years or the required internal on-stream inspection. External inspection intervals for vessels in non-continuous service are the same as for vessels in continuous service because the external environment does not change during non-continuous service. For equipment that is retired and abandoned in place, the owner user may need to conduct appropriate external inspections to make sure that deterioration of insulation Vessel supports and other pertinences do not deteriorate to the point where they become a hazard to personnel. Example Assuming no RBI and the internal inspection interval has been set at three years. What is the maximum external inspection interval allowed per API 510 rules? Solution Based on the given information, internal inspection interval equals 3 years Task Maximum external inspection interval Solution as per API 510, the maximum external inspection interval equals the lesser of five years or the required internal on stream inspection. So, lesser of five or three years equals three years. So, the answer is C. Three, three years is the maximum inspection interval allowed. Review questions Question number 1 An inspector, discovering that a newly installed vessel has a missing manufacturer's data report should Answer is A
Question number two. Who shall inspect and make sure that the new installation pressure vessel is safe for operation? Answer is A. Question number three. The purpose of new pressure vessel inspections at the time of installation is to Answer is D. Question number four. If the service conditions of a vessel are changed, what needs to be done? Answer is A. Question number 5. Vessel is being changed from ethylene condensate service to steam condensate service. The corrosion rate of the vessel in ethylene service was 1 mil per year. What should the inspector do? Answer is C. Question number six. If both the ownership and the location of a pressure vessel are changed, what needs to be done? Answer is A. Question number seven. The RBI assessment shall be reviewed and approved by the engineer and inspector. A. Answer is B. Question number 8. Pressure vessel internal inspection frequency can be increased more than 10 years provided RBI evaluation is carried out. It should be approved by. Answer is D. Question number 9. Unless justified by an RBI assessment, each above-ground vessel shall be given a visual external inspection at an interval that does not exceed. Answer is D. Question number 10. External inspection interval is established by. Answer is D. Question number 11. When may an above ground vessel be visually inspected externally? At an interval that exceeds the lesser of five years or the required internal on stream inspection.
Answer is B. Question number 12. Assuming no RBI and the internal inspection interval has been set at four years, what is the maximum external inspection interval allowed per API 510 rules? Answer is B. Question number 13. Assuming no RBI, and the internal inspection interval has been set at 8 years, what is the maximum external inspection interval allowed per API 510 rules? Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.